Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. This look is meant to be a recreation of the fabulously wonderful Nina Flowers. Uh, if you don't know who Nina Flowers is, Nina Flowers is basically a fabulous and amazing drag queen that started out, I believe started out, on, or been made famous by RuPaul's Drag Race Season 1. Um, and it was actually requested a long, long time ago by the Miss J100, so I'll pop their name there. So thank you so much for requesting this look. I hadn't done it when you requested it because I just couldn't, I didn't really know who the person was. I'd seen from pictures, but it wasn't until recently, when I've just recently started watching RuPaul's Drag Race, that I just fell in love with Nina. And yeah, a special thank you to Tony, by the way, who got me into RuPaul's Drag Race. RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> um, but yes, absolutely wonderful, wonderful person. Amazing makeups. They're all different, but they all have this striking look and the strong contouring and the high brows and yeah, and the, obviously no hair, but and the headpiece, but I don't know. But yeah, so it's a very, very, very fun look to do. Very glamorous, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, so if you would like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a bald cap, which is the plain latex bald cap, um, because the wonderful Nina Flowers does not have hair, which is just another thing that makes her extra special and wonderful, really, I think. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to block out my eyebrows. So as per usual, I'm not going to be doing it in this video because it will make the video go on forever. So I'm going to pop a link here and here to my previous tutorials where I've showed you guys how to apply them. So if you watch the first few minutes of those, it will just get you up to speed really and teach you just how to do that. So I'm going to apply my cap and block out my eyebrows and get back to you. So there we are. So I'm all bald and I've blocked my eyebrows out. Um, I've also just powdered my eyebrows with some Grimace Translucent Powder as well, just because I think it would make the colour adhere to them better. Yeah, so... <laughs> um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my MAC uh, Fluid Line in Black Track, and I'm just going to line, or just start tracing the shape that I want of the eyes. It's mainly going to be the starting shape, and the, obviously all over the eyelid, and it's going to follow this shape going upwards, but I'm going to only do a tiny bit for now, because it's more about getting the structure, that, that 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 high cheekbone. I'm not going to do the foundation now, I'm going to do that last because of any fallout that I get, and this is quite glittery, there's probably going to be a lot of it, um, and I don't want to have to spend time correcting the foundation and such, so I'm going to do that last. But yeah, so I'm going to start with the outline and you'll see what I'm doing from there. <laughs> Okay, so don't worry about making it neat for now, um, it's more about getting the overall shape. So I've also got in the fluid line of my eye and it's just trying to get as dark as, really dark as possible. That's the whole idea, I think, the whole that fierce smouldering look. So yeah, so I've just got the, the basic outline, so that sharp line going up and the harsh line going down. So I'll work on that more after I've done the lightest colours and working downwards because it's a lot easier to cover the lighter colours with black than it is the other way around. <laughs> And there we are. So that's both eyes done-ish. <laughs> um, so actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw on the eyebrows, start drawing on the eyebrows just so I know where to, uh, it's the guidelines where I'm going to put the colour. So I'm going to take a Collection 2000 felt eyeliner pen, just because it's really, really got that sharp point and I love these things, as you all know. And I'm going to start drawing on the shape that I want. Now it's very, very high and it has got an arch, but the arch tapers off up here somewhere. So just be really patient with it. <laughs> there we are. So I'm going to neaten up, neaten up as it goes along, but that's pretty much the basic shape. Yeah, so it's really, really arched, really, really arched, and then it tapers off. But it doesn't taper off back down again, it tapers off out. Hopefully it will come together, we'll see. <laughs> and now for the eyeshadow, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm actually going to use some watercolour for the base. When it dries, I'll use some eyeshadow of the same colour over the top of it just to blend the colours together. The reason being is, on a bald cap, it can be quite difficult to apply eyeshadow. And especially latex, it just doesn't want to stick usually. So I think this will be a nice little base for it. So I'm going to start with some Snazaru watercolour in yellow. And I'm just going to cover the top area here in yellow. Yeah, just tapering off here, and then I'm going to colour this area in green, but I'll show you as I do that. Then I'm going to take some grass green, or is that lime green? Sorry, lime green, Snazaru watercolour, and I'm just going to colour in the next area underneath the yellow. Whilst that's drying, I'm just going to go in again with the MAC Black Fluid Line in Black Track, and I'm just going to colour in 
the area up to the watercolour. I'm just going to take that colour up and along where my eyebrow is and just sweep it out like that. So I'm just going to gently taper it off into those watercolours. Just like that, just keep going until it tapers off completely. You don't want to go any further than the halfway point. You just want it to be a nice, clean edge. Then I'm going to take a really dark green. I think this is Humid by MAC Eyeshadow. And I'm just going to start applying that right where the black starts. Or where the green starts, rather. And just start blending it upwards. But I won't go right to the edge where the yellow is. Because that's way too light. Then I'm going to take this really gorgeous, I think it's called Chrome Yellow by MAC, and I'm just going to apply that on the yellow, Let him, just getting rid of the line where the green meets the yellow, basically. So now I've got the basic shapes going on. You'll notice I've not done anything to the edge yet, because I'm going to do that very last one, so I've got all the glitter on and I can just make this line really neat and sharp. So now, the super fun part, I'm going to take a Barry M... Uh, Dazzle Dust. It's in 834 Emer Emerald Jewel. It's basically like a loose powder with lots of pigment and it's got it's just got some glitter in it so it's yummy. And it's really 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 dark green and this is going to look really nice on the joining line on the black. But I'm going to taper it up to the very end but make sure it's more concentrated towards the line here so it's, it's darkest at the black where the black meets the green. Sorry, I kind of got carried away there. Um, <laughs> what I've just done is, um, I'll read it again, sorry. Um, I'm pretty much nearly finished with that, I suppose. What all I've done is, I carried on doing what I said I was doing. I took the dark green, I lined the this area here where the black joins the green, just to get rid of the line, the harsh line. I carried on smoothing it upwards, but then what I did was I took another barium colour in number 22, which is a black... Um, not a black barium colour but it's got some flecks of gold in it which it just works really well and all I've done is I've dragged the colour up as I said before you haven't got to make it neat yet because we're going to neaten up at the end and no more than that and I've just pulled the colour outwards and I've just blended it in yeah so I've just kept going if you need to add some more yellow, just keep going in. The idea is just to make this gradient. You don't want there to be like a line where the green stops and where the yellow starts like I have at the moment. But I'm going to keep blending and blending until that line goes, or as close as I can get to it going. So yeah, I think that'll do for the time being, because otherwise I'm going to be at that this stage forever. <laughs> so now I'm going to start on a foundation. So I'm going to take, as usual, my Crowland TV paint sticks, and the reason I use these for drag is just because they're so thick. They're like a concealer stick, basically, and they blend so lovely. So I'm going to use, usually I use the 1W, the 3W, which is more close to my natural skin tone, and a 9W for the shading. But as this look is quite pale, I think I'm just going to use the 1W and the 9W as the, the shading, to be honest. And the cheekbone's going to be pretty much white, so yeah. So I'm going to apply this all over my face except for the areas where I want them to be contoured. So around here I want to be contoured, obviously the cheekbones, down the sides of the nose, but you'll see as I do it. Then I'm just going to take my kabuki brush and I'm going to start blending this all in. There we are. So then I'm going to take my 9W, which is the darker shade, I believe, and I'm going to start doing the contouring. Now, it's got to be fairly strong, and that's one of the strong, iconic looks of Nina. So I'm going to draw my cheekbones on. I'm going to blend all these colours out again, but just try to make them... Or try not to blend them out too much, OK? And I'm also going to do some shading here, but where my the cheekbone is, I'm going to have this line stop, so don't blend anything in this area here, but you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to do these little bits of a brush, so I'm just going to go down the sides of my nose. And I'm also going to do my 
people, it's kind of like apples that are cheap, just for a line for the um, contouring to taper off with. So there we go, so now we can have some blendy fun. <laughs> So that's the majority of the blending out of the way. Uh, as you can see, I've just gone up the sides of my cheekbones and I've followed this sh this pattern going upwards. Same on this side as well, so it's going to have this really harsh line. Yeah, so now I'm going to uh, to powder the entire look with some Grimish Translucent Powder, which will lighten up the look a lot as well. And I'm going to brush it all off, the excess, except for the area underneath my eyes where my cheekbones are. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and just absorb the... Um, the not foundation, the cream concealer. And then I'm just going to take a sleek um, contour colour in 374, I believe that is. That's this dark brown. It's really lovely. And I'm just going to trace exactly where I've gone before. I'm just going to be particularly dark on this area here just because it really sucks in the cheekbones. And yeah, and I'm going to go down the sides of my nose and basically everywhere I've gone before. So there we go, so I'm just going to let that sit there until the end of the makeup and then I'll, uh, until I finish the look and I'll just start brushing off the success and the white will slowly trickle down and that will make this a lot less subtle but still it needs to be quite strong because that's the whole idea of Nina. <laughs> then I'm just going to take some tiny tiny little gems if I can pick these up, tiny tiny little gems that are just sparkly and shiny and I'm just going to stick them all over the eyeshadow, leaving quite a few gaps, probably about two gem spaces gaps in between. And I'm going to stop just where the darkest colour starts, just all in this area here, just to get a bit more shine and yeah, glam, really. And I'm going to stick them down with spirit gum, by the way. Make sure to apply the spirit gum to the actual diamond itself rather than the actual skin, because you don't, don't want to start mixing the colour with the spirit gum and it'll just look icky. So it's easier just to put it straight on the gem and then stick it down. There we are, nice and sparkly. <laughs> so then I can start on the lips. So the first thing I'm going to do for the lips is line the outside shape that I want. I'm not brilliant at this, so no judging. <laughs> um, I'm determined to get this right, but we shall see. So I'm going to line the shape that I want. It's going to be a real sharp point in the corners of the lips, but it's going to be a very, very high cupid's bow that's still quite arched and a very full bottom lip. So here we go. Okay, so that's the general shape I'm going for. I should have mentioned, sorry, I'm using a, a Barry M lip liner in number three. Yeah, number three. It's like a really nice deep red. Then I'm just going to use a another lip liner, but I'm just going to colour in the outside shape, not the centre. And I'm going to use a Max Factor um, Colour Elixir lip liner. Mm. Um, <laughs> this is in number four. This is Pink Princess. I'm then going to take something I've only recently discovered um, by Sleek, a lipstick palette. And I'm going to use this colour here. It's by, uh, not by, sorry, it's called Lola. Is that Lola? Yeah, Lola. It's <laughs> it's like this nice pinky red. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to apply it. It's like a really, really nice lip. It's almost like a lip tar, but difficult to describe. It's really, really malleable. You can blend it really nicely. So I'm going to apply it on the outside and just blend it towards the centre. Again, not applying too much product in the centre of my lips because I want that to be my highlight. I'm going to take a really tiny bit of pout paint by Sleek in Cloud9. It's basically white. And I'm going to use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that. Like, when I mean to say tiny, I mean a really, really tiny bit because this stuff goes really, 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 really far. So, and I'm just going to dab that in the, in the centre of my lips and just blend my lips together because I don't want it to be like a block colour but it's got a nice shine to it as well so it would act as a gloss as well which is nice. So there we go. So it's a nice, not obviously not subtle but it's a nice blended highlight down the centre of the lips. Okay, I'm then going to start applying my false eyelashes. So I'm going to use a pair on the bottom and on the top as well. The pair on the bottom is not going to be obviously as big, but I've got a pair in mind that's going to flick out really nicely. It's another pair of Only Ways Essex lashes. These ones are in glam. Yeah, so they're really nicely feathered and they just flick outwards. So I'm going to apply those to my bottom lashes. 
and we shall go from there. The lashes that I'm going to use on top are huge, okay? So they're not any particular brand, they're just a pair of lashes that I have lying around that are really, really, really big. So yeah, I'm going to apply those to my top lashes and yeah, <laughs> so there we are. So once I've applied my lashes, I can apply my mascara. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express mascara and I'm just going to apply that on my top and bottom lashes just to blend them into the false lashes. And just before I finish, I'm going to quickly talk about my costume. Um, I'm going to obviously put something, some kind of costume on, so excuse the toplessness. But I wanted to quickly talk about this. It's nothing special. I just cut up loads of tubes and stuff and made this weird looking head base and sprayed it green. It's just because it's going to be a base for the butterflies that I'm going to be sticking on. And because Nina wouldn't be Nina without her crazy head piece. That's usually something small that sits either to the side or the center. Yeah, so, or has hair coming out of it, something mad. So I made this, I'm going to stick somewhere down with spirit gum and I'm just going to apply to it loads of these like butterflies that I got from craft stores. I've got loads of different sizes, all in greens and stuff. And yeah, I'm not going to show you guys how me doing it because I'm just literally going to stick them down with spirit gum and stuff. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly talk to you about that before, well, rather than just apply it and you guys wonder what I did. Yeah. <laughs> And there we are. So I finished look off by sticking on all of these butterflies and my headpiece. Um, the outfit, please forgive me for I could not think of anything to wear for this. So I put on a frock that I had made about, what, six years ago. And it's it's terrible. But it does the job. I think it's sparkly and it's got the black in it. And all I'm missing is a big, big green flower, I think. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> so, oh, and I popped in two uh, black, two green contact lenses, just to tie the eyes in with the whole green theme. And oh, also, I obviously, I brushed off the excess powder on the cheeks, so it's still quite considerably lighter, but that's the whole look we're going for. But yeah, no excess powder flying around, and yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my Nina Flowers makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, the usual. And yeah, so until next time, bye.